in this video we are going to see a problem based on nodal analysis for a circuit where dependent sources are also present along with independent sources so here is the problem in which we are supposed to determine this current i by using nodal analysis in the circuit we are having so many sources present some of them are independent sources and some of them are dependent sources so let's solve it by a nodal analysis step number one is to mark all the nodes present in the circuit so node is that point where three or more branches are connected together so as for that this will be a node three branches are connected one two three branches are connected to this node one two three so this is a node one two three so if you see carefully corners of this quadrilateral are the nodes now selection of reference node if you see carefully between these two nodes there is only voltage source present so it is always better if i select a negative terminal of the voltage source as a reference so this is our reference node then i'll consider this is node number 1 having the potential v1 this is node number 2 with the potential v2 and node number 3 with the potential v3 next step we have to mark all branch currents so we can mark the branch currents randomly so i have marked the current for this branch in this manner this is for this branch for 5.5 ohm this is the current direction for this branch and current source is present so i will mark the current source direction as per given now we are ready for application of kirchhoff's current law if you see carefully between node number 1 and the reference there is no resistance present only voltage source is there that will make our job very easy because i can easily write v1 minus 0 equal to 2 this implies v1 equal to 2 because we know a uh, only voltage source is present between a node and a reference node then potential of that node will be decided by the voltage source present so v1 equal to 2 volt no need to apply kirchhoff's current law to node number 1 let's go for node number 2 so apply kcl at node Node two is having a potential V two. Three branches are meeting. Out of that, two are incoming. So let's write the equation for this branch, which is starting with a V one and ending on V two. So V one minus V two. In the direction of current, there is a voltage source which is changing the polarity plus to minus. So plus to minus means it's a voltage drop. so negative sign and the value is 3i and the resistance of this branch is 4.5 now let's write the equation for this current this current has started from a reference to zero and ending on v2 means minus v2 in the direction of current there is a voltage source who is changing the polarity from minus to plus so minus to plus means voltage rise so plus 7.5 divided by total resistance in the branch which is 1.5 plus 6.5 which is nothing but 8 so this is nothing but a branch current for this particular branch and the only outgoing current is this 
So that will be on the right hand side of the equation starting its journey from V2, ending on V3 and the resistance in the branch is 5.5. So we got equation like this. Let's simplify it first. So it will be like this V1 upon 4.5 minus V2 upon 4.5 minus 3 upon 4.5 into I minus v2 by 8 plus 7.5 by 8 equal to v2 by 5.5 minus v3 upon 5.5. Five. Now the only question over here is this i we are supposed to replace with the R variables V1, V2, V3. So this current I requires a substitution. So the substitution equation will be this I is the current of this branch. And for this branch, we have already written the equation in terms of node voltages as 0 minus V2 plus 7.5 divided by 8. So basically it is 0 minus V2 plus 7.5 divided by 8. Actually this is nothing but 7.5 minus v2 by 8. So this we need to substitute over here to get an equation in terms of node voltages. So if I substitute I will get v1 upon 4.5 minus v2 upon 4.5 minus 3 upon 4.5 and instead of i it will be 7.5 minus v2 divided by 8 and this will remain same v2 by 8 plus 7.5 by 8 let's take out v2 v3 this side so it's a minus v2 by 5.5 plus v3 upon 5.5 equal to 0. Now the only job over here is to segregate all variables on one side and constants on other side. So let's do that. So v1 inside bracket the coefficient is 1 by 4.5 Okay, so that is the only one coefficient we will get plus V2 over here minus 1 upon 4.5. If you solve this, this will be plus 3 by 4.5 into 8 is nothing but 36. So this will be another coefficient over here minus 1 by 8 minus 1 upon 5.5. So let's verify once again all the coefficients are taken or not. Minus 1 point, so sorry, minus 1 upon 4.5. This is plus 3 upon 36 minus 1 by 8, minus 1 upon 5.5. So all the coefficients have been taken. So this is V2. Let's write coefficients of V3. 
so only one that is one upon 5.5 let's take our constant on this side so the first constant is this this is minus 3 upon 4.5 which is nothing but uh, minus 1 upon 1.5 and after solving what will you get we'll get enter this thing as a 5 so that will go on this side this 5 divided by 8 basically so the constant that i will get over here is 5 by 8 from this and one more constant over here that will be minus 7.5 divided by 8 no need to simplify the constant and not even this coefficient because we are going to use a calculator so let's consider this is equation number 2 because uh, this is the equation that we got in terms of our node voltages v1 v2 and v3 and in similar manner we can apply kirchhoff's current law to the node number 3 so let's apply kcl at node number 3 Node number 3 has three branches 1, 2, 3. All the three currents are incoming one. Out of that, one is a constant current source 1 ampere. So the equation will be 1 plus this is the incoming current started with a V2 and ending on a V3. So V2 minus V3 upon 5.5. And third incoming current is this which has started the reference and ending on v3 in the current direction there is a voltage source of 2 volt and the polar it is minus 2 plus in the direction of current so it's a voltage rise and the total resistance is 3 and 3.5 which is nothing but 6.5 so what we'll get over here started with reference ending on a v3 in the direction of current there is a voltage rise hence plus 2 upon total resistance which is 6.5 no outgoing current hence equation equal to 0 let's simplify so it's a 1 plus v2 by 5.5 minus p3 divided by 5.5 over here it is minus v3 divided by 6.5 plus 2 upon 6.5 equal to 0 so let's club for v2 terms which is nothing but 1 upon 5.5 v3 terms minus 1 upon 5.5 minus 1 upon 6.5 and all the constants on the right hand side which is minus 1 minus 2 upon 6.5 as equation number 3 so thing is that we got these three equations first equation is very simple for one variable and a constant v1 equal to 2 volt this is a second complicated equation because so many terms involved over here along with the substitution equation so this is a v2 in terms of v repeat this is the equation 2 in terms of v1 v2 v3 and equation 3 is in this map so by solving 1 2 and 3 we will get a v1 v2 and v3 so by solving 1 2 and 3 we will get v1 as 2 volt v2 4.22 volt and v3 as 6.1817 volt but this is not what we want what we want let's go back to the problem we want a current i and current i is nothing but this 7.5 minus v2 upon 8 so basically 
V2 value, you have to substitute over here, okay, and get the answer. So let's do that. So if I substitute the V2 value in the equation, I will get current I since it is given as 7.5 minus V2 divided by 8, which is nothing but 7.5 minus 4.5. 2, 2 upon 8 after solving this we will get a final answer for the current i 0 0.41 ampere and the direction will be downward as shown in the problem so this is the final answer thank you